This is Hayes Q. Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray ball are on a budget. This is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, what's up? You know the routine. You are greatly appreciated. Come on in. Make yourself at home. This week, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Normally, I'm out and about either at the pawn shops, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Target, Walmart, wherever I can find DVDs, Blu-rays at bargain prices. This week, i um, running into a little space issue with the shelving in my movies at home. So I'm going to rearrange some movies, um, basically shelf the artwork and put the disc in folders. And I figure while I'm doing that, I might as well show off my Disney collection. But before I do that, not only do I collect movies, yes, I'm one of these wild, weird individuals. I actually watch them. And on a weekly basis, just like to share some of the things I watched, either physical media, streaming, or actually, actually live in the theater with my family. I'm going to kick it off with a Dollar Tree pick. This is... In the Order of Disappearance. This is a 2014 action crime drama thriller. It's actually in Norwegian, but it's, the English is dubbed, so you don't have to worry about subtitles. This is starring yet another Skarsgård, Stellan Skarsgård, Bruno Gantz, Paul Severin Hagen, Jack Sodal Mollen, Arthur Burning. This is directed by Hans Peter Mollen. This revolves, revolves around the, the main character, Niels Dickman, he just received this Citizen of the Award for being a Citizen of the Year Award <clears throat> for being an upstanding community leader. And right after he finds this, he finds out his son has died over a heroin addict, a heroin um, overdose. And he knows his son is not a heroin addict. So he makes this mission on finding people associated with the death of his son and revolves around that. Gritty somewhat tongue-in-cheek in certain areas. I don't know if it's because it's Norwegian is, I don't know, differences of humor or something, though, but very decent picture, decent action, nice twist at the ending. Get the opportunity. Probably find them at Dollar Tree. This is in the order of disappearance. My next film is something I actually watch streaming. This might actually still be on the theaters. This is 2023's Kandahar. This was directed by Rick Roman Wall. This was starring the stars Gerard Butler, Ali Fazal, Navid Negaban, Nina Toussaint White, Tom Rice Harris. This takes over in the Middle East. Gerard Butler is the main character and He's like a spy. He's trying to spy on the Middle East. And after his mission, he's trying to get home to his daughter's graduation. He and his family are somewhat on shaky ground due to him being a, basically a spy and always being away from home. And the, the story revolves around him getting back to his daughter in time for graduation. All the hurdles he has to overcome to, to make that possible. Not a bad picture. It says action, but it's actually more drama than action. Probably the last 30 minutes when the action starts getting good. It kind of lulls in between, though. But overall, not a bad film. So when it comes out on Blu-ray, I'll probably get it if I can find it at a decent price. That was in um, Kandahar. My next pick is a classic. This is... What year did this come out at? This is 1992's Trespass, starring Bill Paxson, Ice-T, William Sadler, Ice Cube, Art Evans, and it even has your boy Stoney Jackson in there. This revolves around Bill Paxson and William Sadler. They get a map where they think there's actually hidden treasure in this old building, and they just... They go there trying to find the find the 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 treasure. In the middle of this, they get caught up in a murder murder scene with Ice T and his gang. <clears throat> and the story revolves around them trying to get the gold and trying to get away from Ice T and his gang at the same time. 
this is a kind of a I'll call it a midnight movie classic. Back in high school, every time one of the hip hop movies or Eddie Moore Murphy movies come out, everybody go to the midnight movies and watch it. Very cool or early '90s. I don't say it's a hip hop movie though, but has hip hop stars in it though. Interesting, decent action, more suspense. You like Ice T, Ice Cube, Bill Paxton, the late Bill Paxton. You will like this. This is. Trespass. Now, my last pick is something uh, actually watching streaming with my son. Very hard to get him. He's 14 now. Very hard to get him to sit down and watch anything with the family, let alone me. But got him to sit down and watch the third season of The Mandalorian. This is starring Pedro Pascal, uh, Katie Sackhoff. You might know Katie Sackhoff if you liked the remake of Battlestar Galactica. The third season of Mandalorian picks up where the last one left off. Mandalorians trying to cleanse himself, I guess, so he can be right with the Order of Mandalorians since he's, act- since he's actually taking his helmet off. And he's also trying to establish kind of a, a colony for other ca- um, Mandalorians. And of course, he has a sidekick, Grogu, Grogu, with him. There's also another side story about a, a scientist who just left the Empire. And his his acclimation into the new society, though. But pretty cool for the third season. We have two more episodes left. But looking forward to The Mandalorian as well as some other Star Wars series that are coming out. Especially Obi-Wan. Hopefully we come out with another season of Obi-Wan. But that's what I've been watching for the week. Now, without further ado, sit back. Relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of the video. And enjoy some of this rain. in the opening going to switch it up a little bit one thing about collecting movies in mass quantities one issue that always comes up is the issue of space where can I put all these movies as you can see right now in the cases they're pretty full right now so, what I'm going to have to do is decide which movies stays in the displays and which one I'm going to have to put in the folders and separate the artwork from the plastic. So, give me just a minute and I'll show you which ones I'm going to shelf or take out of the display and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. Give me just a minute. And as you can see, pretty field down there also. So the logical thing that'll probably, well, the logical thing that's going to move is going to be my Disney section. So hold on, let me get these out. We'll go over my, my Disney Blu-ray and 3D, 3D collection. Give me just a minute. I'm going to kick it off with the 
Disney Signature Series here. These are a series of okay, National Geographic um, more nature nature type films. Started out with The Crimson Wing Mystery of the Flamingo and I haven't seen any of these yet I've just kind of glanced at them. We have the yeah, the Blu-ray and the DVD. We have the chimpanzee. The Blu-ray and the DVD. Then we have the Born in China with the slip cover that's a little beat down. Born in China. The next one seems like more of a general one with the Earth. Looks like it's in different poles, North Pole, South Pole, South Pole uh, Seas. Better than the March of Penguins, which is a pretty decent movie. Blu-ray and the DVD, Earth, Disney Signature Series. Next we have Bears, nice slip cover here. And also the Blu-ray and the DVD. And to finish off the Disney Signature Series, we have African Cats. Nice sub cover. Okay, this is the Disney Signature Series. Let's go into the next set. This next section, I'm just gonna call it Disney Classics. You have Peter Pan, the Diamond Edition, Blu-ray. Blu-ray and the DVD. Next we have Snow White. I think which edition is this? Is this regular Blu-ray edition? Oh no, this is the signature collection. That's the way it's print. Snow White. We have Lady and the Tramp, the Diamond Edition. And this one has the digital, Blu-ray, and DVD. Blu-ray guide. We have the 101 Dalmatians with Cruella DeVille. It's the 
Blu-ray. Next we have the Platinum 70th, 70th Anniversary of Pinocchio. Bonus disc, Blu-ray disc. This is the two disc, I believe. Walt Disney's Pinocchio. Next, we have Sleeping Beauty. This is the signature collection, also. This is just the Blu-ray, Sleeping Beauty. Next we have Jungle Book, the Diamond Edition, Blu-ray and DVD. And we'll round this out with Cinderella, the Diamond Edition. And that's it for this section. This is, I call this just my classic section. We're going to the next one. These are the newer classes, I should say, for the Disney, for my Disney collection. We'll go with the Incredibles, the Blu-ray and DVD. We have the Fox and the Hound and the Fox and the Hound 2. Slip cover here, raised print. The three disc set. Fox and the Hound. <clears throat> we have Brave, the collector's edition. Pixar release. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next, we have another Pixar's joint, A Bug's Life. Nice slip cover here. back also blue and DVD of a bug's life Steve Carell Jennifer Garner Alexander and the terrible horrible no good very bad day and I know we've all had those before be some more than you care to mention. Nice slip cover here. And just have a Blu ray. And we have Aladdin, King of Thieves, along with The Return of Jafar. Next, I haven't seen this yet. Saving Mr. Banks with Tom Hanks, Emma Thompson. A Tom Hanks fan, so pretty sure it's pretty decent. Saving Mr. Banks. Show this for the first time last Christmas. The Santa Claus trilogy with the asshole Tim Allen. Yeah, I think he's an asshole. 
but still like the movie despite him. Steve Allen, the Santa Claus. I hate when they do that, stack them like this. Santa Claus. Next, another one I haven't seen yet. Like Ian McGregor, Disney's Christopher Robin. The Blu-ray and the DVD. We have the Great Mouse Detective. and the DVD. Next, we have Beverly Hills Chihuahua. I haven't seen this, another Disney one I haven't gotten into yet. Nice artwork on the back. And the sequel to Chihuahua, Chihuahua 2. Beverly Hills Chihuahua, I should say. Over here. Got a blue in the DVD, Beverly Hills Chihuahua 2. University, another Pixar pick. I'm pretty sure it's uh, Billy Crystal. I don't know who else with the vocals, but it seems like I remember Billy Crystal being one of the main vocals of Monsters University. version of Cinderella, which I haven't seen yet. Cinderella, Cinderella. I'll do one more. The diamond version, diamond edition of The Lion King. Safa, Akuma Matata. The Lion King. So this is, I guess, my new classics from Disney. Hold on, let's go to the next section. Next, we have a box set here. We have the original. Peace Dragon with Helen Reddy and Mickey Rooney. <clears throat> yeah, the remake, which I thought was supposed to be in 3D, but never actually have not found a copy in 3D. Peace Dragon, the original and the remake. Nice little box cover there. Next, we have the trilogy, and I also have, give me a second, okay. hold on. I have the Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy. Nice box here. The first one. And I can't imagine, I think when Johnny Depp had the trial, Disney was supposed to cut him from being Jack Sparrow 
So I can't imagine anyone else doing it to Jack Sparrow besides Johnny Depp. Just his quirkiness embodies that that role. This is the World's End, the third one. And there might be another one. I think I've lost track. I don't know if there's four or five. I've lost track of the Pirates of the Caribbean, but this is a 3D version. Steelbook. Johnny Depp, Javier Bardem. Jeffrey Rush. And Pirates of the Caribbean set. Just some random movies here. The sequel to 101 Dalmatians. 101 Dalmatians 2. This is the special edition Disney. Adventure of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. This is the basic cartoon version of Sleepy Hollow. It's been a while since I've seen this. This the Blu ray. Nice slip cover here. up recently, Tinkerbell and the Lost Treasures. And next, let's get into the Disney Blu-ray exclusives. Give me just a minute. We're going to kick it off with the Disney Blu-ray exclusives with the last words, allegedly, Walt Disney actually said, Kurt Russell. That is the report. The last words of Kurt Russell. This is the strongest man in the world. I remember watching this on TV on the wide world of, on the wide world with it. World of, not wide world of sports. On um, Disney show. I can't think of it. They had like a Sunday show. Is right after Jacques Cousteau on NBC. The Wonderful World of Disney. I think that's what it was. Kind of a little brain fart. The Strongest Man in the World. Next, we have Haley Mills, The Parent Trap. I haven't seen the remakes of these. I don't know if I want to with Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan or not. It might soil my actual love of this movie, The Parent Trap. You also have Brian Keith. And uh, I think it's Maureen O'Hara in there. Brian Keith from the television show Family Affair. I like this one a lot. Very un-Disney-like movie. Ray Bradbury's Something Wicked This Way Comes. And Disney is more like kind of family, friends, you know, conflict, overcome conflict, and everyone's happy. This little darker side of Disney. Something Wicked This Way Comes. Excellent movie. Next, we have The Boatniks. Used to have a, a crush on her from heart to heart, Stephanie Powers. Thought she was so attractive. The Boatniks. Next. It took me a while to realize this is the girl, if you've ever seen the movie Craft, this is her as a child. Return to Oz. This is another dark Disney movie that I think they actually pulled from the theaters. Um, it starts out with Dorothy Gale basically, I think you're receiving like shock therapy or something because of her dreams from Oz. So a little darker, another darker movie from Disney, Return to Oz. Next one, Holes, Sigourney Weaver, John Voight, Patricia Arquette, Arquette and um, really Shia LaBeouf's movie, Holes. Very interesting movie these kids out in the desert digging holes looking for treasure the 15th anniversary edition holes 
next another movie love this movie so much I actually got the books and read both books Escape to Witch Mountain 40th anniversary Tony and Tia Escape to Witch Mountain you can't have Escape to Witch Mountain without the sequel Return to Witch Mountain this is Betty Davis can't think of his name but he's in a lot of horror movies Return to Witch Mountain I think this is another Betty Davis movie with Disney. The Watcher in the Woods. Another darker Disney movie. Next we have The Mighty Ducks with Emilio Estevez. Charlie Estevez, aka Charlie Sheen's brother. Son to Martin Sheen. The Mighty Ducks 1. Of course, you now have The Mighty Ducks 2. You also have uh, Joshua Jackson in here. Uh, you might know him if you remember the television show Fringe. Mighty Ducks 2. And we have the third one. Mighty Ducks 3. Very good trilogy. And I'm working on my Herbie collection. This is my only Herbie movie. I think they're like four or five. This one with Don Knox. I think the original has uh, Hackett. Can't think of his name. One of the main stars. Herbie goes to Monte Carlo. And my last Disney Blue exclusive, the Apple Dumpling Gang. I need to get the other one. Apple Dumpling Gang Rise Again. We have a great duo of comedy, Tim Conway and Don, Don Knotts. They did a few Disney movies together. Great chemistry together. The Apple Dumpling Gang. I think this one is uh, the guy who played the Incredible Hulk also. I can't think of his name. He's, he's in this one or either the sequel, the Apple Dumpling Gang Rise Again. Okay, these are my... Blu-ray exclusives. On to the next part. I'm going to jump into my 3D collection. You have Alice from Wonderland. With Johnny Depp. Next, we have the 3D version, Beauty of the Beast. Next, we have the, well, this is the UK version, and this is the American version. Outside of the packaging, I don't think it's anything different. I don't think I've ever actually compared the two. Let's see. Well, they're different just on the disc itself. So, getting the Beast 3D version. Beauty and the Beast live version. Emma Watson, Ian McGregor, not Stanley Tucci, Emma Thompson. I haven't seen that, so I'm gonna have to check this out. Beauty and the Beast live action. Big Hero 6 3D. Bolt 3D with John Travolta and Miley Cyrus. Miley Virus. Bolt 3D. Then we have the first cars. Cars 2. I like this one nice. 3D slip cover. And of course, you now have to have 
Cars 3 in 3D. Oh, great animated movie, great 3D on all three movies. I'd be disappointed if anything less coming from Disney Pixar. And this is not in 3D, but this is part of the Cars universe. Mater's Tall Tales, not in 3D. But still Disney Pixar and part of the Cars universe, so I'll put it in there with the rest. Next we have Brave in 3D. Nice, beautiful 3D cover. Brave 3D. And hold on. Uh, winding down a few more 3Ds. Hold on. Next we have Dumbo. With Colin Farrell, Michael Keaton, Danny DeVito. The live version. The slip cover. Chicken Little and 3D. Jim Carrey. I haven't watched this yet. I keep saying I'm going to watch it around Christmas time. Just things get so hectic and don't get a chance to watch it. This is a Robert Zemeckis. So you know it's going to be a little bit on the wild side, but it's Zemeckis. Christmas Carol. Next we have Coco. And I'm not talking about Ice-T's Chick, the movie Coco. And 3D. Next we have Finding Neo, Nemo. The Ultimate Collector's Edition with nice 3D cover. Dory. Finding Nemo, Finding Dory. The sequel to Finding Nemo. Very nice slip cover. Got the 3D thing going. We have the finest hour, which I haven't seen as of yet. Chris Pine, Casey Affleck. I believe it's based on a true story, too. The thinnest hour, finest hours. Next, we have the Good Dinosaur, the Ultimate Collector's Edition, 3D. Just have the actual 3D. I haven't seen this either. This is a James Cameron film I think it's a documentary on the Titanic Titanic I believe we get another nice 3D cover Ghost of the Abyss Blu-ray in the 3D I haven't watched this either. The Great and Powerful Oz in 3D with James Franco. Next we have The Incredible 2. Incredibles 2 in 3D. I thought the first one should have been 3D also. They should go back and do the first one in 3D, but that's just me. We have the bonus disc the 3D 
and the regular Blu-ray. Incredibles 2. We have John Carter, which is decent 3D, decent movie. Nice. 3D action on the slip cover. John Carter and Tangled. Blu ray, three D, DVD, and digital. Tangled, which is basically a rip off of the run pop. Rapunzel story. The Grimm story, Rapunzel. And we're winding up. Or should I say we're winding down. Jungle Book. Very good live action. Uh, Bill Murray, Ben Kingsley, Scarlett Johansson, Giancarlo Esposito, Christopher Walken. Love Christopher Walken. Very good 3D too. Jungle Book. Very good movie in 3D. Nice. live version of the classical animation motion picture, The Jungle Book. Next, we have the live version of The Lion King with Danny Glover, Seth Rogen, Alfred Wood Woodard, Beyonce, Beyonce, and of course, the fabulous voice of James Earl Jones. Lion King, live version 3D. It's a good movie, a decent movie. The Robinsons 3D. Haven't watched this yet. I think this is out of print. And I just saw this YouTube commentary on Disney and how Disney, some of the shows might be going away forever because it just costs so much money to store some of these shows and movies on server so some of this stuff might be going away so if you don't have it on physical media you might not be seeing it again we have the 3D version Angela Jolie Maleficent 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 very good movie very good movie the sequel to Maleficent Maleficent Mistress of Evil with The Rock, the Ultimate Collector's Edition, again with the 3D slip cover. Then you have stories whole collection here well I shouldn't say a whole collection because you have that Buzz Lightyear which I don't have but this is a 3D version of that these out. I don't think my wife has seen any of these so far so one Christmas we're going to have to watch Toy Story but you have Toy Story 1 of course you have Tom Hanks and Santa Claus guy, Tim Allen, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, and 
Toy Story 4. And winding down to the last two. This is the sequel to Alice in Wonderland, the steel book. Alice through the looking glass in 3D. Nice little, I call it a steel book sleeve. Not a slip cover, but more of a sleeve. And lastly, Aladdin 3D steel book with Will Smith. And I actually like the live version of this, very nice. And this is my Blu ray 3D collection. Give me a minute. Let me separate the arc, the disc, and the plastic and see which ones actually hit the hit the shelves, give me just a minute. Also forgot about a little special Lions King Disney joint. This is uh, the Lion King. Pull this off here. So basically, you have. Lion King, Lion King and a half, and Lion King 2. And a little nifty set case here. When I get done, this is what the finished product looks like. I even threw in the back, get back here, the Disney DVDs. So let's wrap this up. What do you think, Shock? I have almost everything laid out, ready to be put back in its proper place. As usual, I appreciate 
each and every one of you hanging in there, hanging out with me, looking at my Disney collection. If you made this far in the video, smash the like. Give me the big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Other than that, may the best of your past be the worst of your future. Everyone be safe. Deuces.